Okay, today I'm doing a video for Affinity Designer for Windows using Epson F570. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, and as you see under Print, there are numerous print settings. There's letter, legal, ledger, ledger different uh, sizes. But I'm going to choose the letter and then make it 12 by 12. So as you see, you can change it to any size you want. Keep it at 300 dpi. You're going to keep it at inches, not pixels. Um, since it's one square, it doesn't matter if you, you, uh, whatever size you pick here, portrait or landscape, doesn't matter. Keep it at prefer embedded. Under color, your color format's going to be RGB forward slash eight. Color profile is going to be sRGB, IEC, and whatever this is. I keep my um, artboard at transparent so I can see what's going on. If you don't want transparent, change it, take it off the check mark, take the check mark off and you will have a white background. I'm going to keep it on. We don't do anything with margins unless, of course, you want a margin. Um, then you would click include margins. I don't. I don't click anything for bleed. And now we're going to go to create. You're creating the board you're working on. And as you see, it's transparent. And now I'm going to bring an image in. And it's an image I'm working with for somebody that needs a little help. So we're going to go to place. Okay. And wherever your images are, in whatever directory, you should go there. And this is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to click it, and you'll see there's an arrow, and I'm going to bring it in. Now, this used to have a white background, the image, and I took it out. I saved it as a PNG transparent and silhouette, so it took the white background out. And the reason I don't like white backgrounds is because sometimes there may be a tinge of yellow or some other color, and that will print onto your shirt. That's why I always do it this way. But you can do what you want. Next we're going to go to our document setup. So you're going to go to File, Document Setup, and Preset is going to be, let me go up here, it's a custom size. It's going to be inches. Don't use pixels. Keep it at inches. Preferred embedded, that's what you want. Dimensions, 12 by 12, 300 dpi. Next, we're going to go to color. And we are going to change this. You're going to keep this at RGB8, but for the F570, since we're using that paper, we're going to use the Epson SC500 General Purpose Textile. That's for clothes. Uh, t-shirts, anything that's textile. That's their color profile used with their paper and their ink. So you're going to click that. Always keep this at convert. Again, transparent background. Margins, nothing. Bleed, nothing. And again, this is just the document setup. Next, we're going to go and we're going to print it. But there's a little catch to this now. So I have the SC500, and you can see it's a little off whack here. Now I'm going to go to Properties. And this is where you're going to find your printer preferences, and you've got to match your size uh, with the size you have on your artboard. So it's going to go into your printer properties for the F570 possibly today sometime. There we go. 
All right, you see how it defaults to 8.5 by 11? You've got to change that to a custom paper size. Your paper size has to match what you're printing. Otherwise, it's going to go all over the place. All right, I have user defined. You're going to choose user defined. There's a drop down here. Um, see under US, there's letter legal. I chose user defined and I want 12 by 12. Well, by 12. User defined 12 by 12. Hit OK. And as you see, that still says letter. So we're going to change that to user defined so that they all match. And there you go. Same as paper size. And it's a custom paper. I'm using the 17-inch roll. Um, and again, you'll see the media type is going to be the textile, not the rigid. So you've got that. You want no color adjustment. Do not use high speed. I use finest detail. Now, if it's too colorful, drop it down to... Of course, I never heard people complain about that. Quality, take it off high speed, put it find this detail. But we're going to do this one. We're going to print it at maximum. And take it off that high speed. Find this detail. I do a print preview so I can see what I'm doing. And then you hit OK now. Oh, then you go to advance. This is the tricky part. You want a normal cut. You want it to cut. Don't keep this on off. You want it to cut. Auto rotate and save roll paper. That won't use a whole roll just to do your one little graphic. Again, back to printer settings. See if everything's all right. Sometimes it defaults to whatever it, whatever it was last time. So make sure this is all correct. We're going to do that. Now we're back to see how that filled in, choosing the right paper size. It's a document. I do fit to printable, printable, all sheets. This is automatic. And you'll see the width and height went to almost 12 by 12. Next is rasterization. DPI is always 300. You can make it higher. Bleed and marks, nothing. Again, color management. It's going to be performed by the app, which means affinity. The profile, again, is going to be... I have a lot of printers, so I have to find mine. i got to get the right profile, otherwise I'm in trouble. Let's see if I can find it. I have six printers, and there it is. Again, the Epson 500 General Purpose Textile. Keep it at perpetual and print the file. You don't do anything. So now in print, you have everything ready to go. And I'm going to hit OK and print it. And then I'm going to show you a picture of the print and the press. And I hope this works for all of you. And here's my print preview. It won't print till I hit print, uh, get out of here. So you can just see how it's going to look. You don't have to have print preview on if you don't care for it. I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I have to keep it on. <laughs> I've been doing so many videos that my computer is stalling today, and that's how it's going to look, and that's where it's going to cut, so it's not using a whole roll. So I'm going to hit print, and that is it.